And now onto our dinosaur of the day, Bruhath Chaosaurus, which was a request by Talon via our Patreon and Discord. So thanks. It was a titanosaur sauropod, so we're wrapping up with sauropods, that lived in the late Cretaceous in what is now India in the Kalamedu Formation. It probably looked like other sauropods, with a bulky body, a long neck, and long tail. The holotype was found in 1978, and that included hip bones, partial leg bones, part of the arm, and a tailbone. Now, the fossils from the Kalamedu Formation are not well preserved. You've got monsoon season, and with the sands and the clays from the formation that gets saturated with water, and then in the dry season, the fossils may expand in the day and contract at night, and that makes these fossils fragile. Yeah, that does sound like a recipe for disaster. Yes. Now, Bruhath Chaosaurus was described by Yadagiri and Ayasami in 1987. However, according to Pal and Ayasami in 2022, so just a little earlier this year, the fossils started, quote, disintegrating in the field jackets and crumbled to dust before reaching the repository of the Geological Survey of India, Hyderabad, end quote. That's a huge bummer. Yes. These fossils, again, they're very, quote, friable in nature. And that's actually, that word friable, I hadn't heard much before, but we heard it a lot at SVP. Mm -hmm. The fossils, again, they're in the soft sandstone. They get water saturated during monsoon season, dry in the summer when it's so hot, and that contributes to the, quote, crumbly nature of the bones. Yeah, and that's basically what friable means, is easily crumbled. Yep. And so that means, yeah, we no longer have the holotype. And in that way, it's similar to Amphocelius, which we covered very recently in episode 413. Yeah, that's a bummer. Yeah. Now, the original description had a few line drawings and photographs of the fossils at the dig site, but there are not many descriptions of its unique features. Some researchers thought the fossils were petrified wood <laughs> because of the large size, and some people thought the find was a hoax. Oh, geez. It was originally thought to be a carnosaur theropod similar to Allosaurus, but then in 1995, Chatterjee reanalyzed the fossils and found Bruhathkeosaurus to be a titanosaur. Then later studies found it to be an indeterminate sauropod or nomum dubium. But again, that 2022 study that just came out, they reviewed the material and they found, yes, the skeleton was real and Bruhathkeosaurus was probably valid. But they couldn't actually review the material. They could only review the The pictures. photos and there's drawings, yes. That always makes it so much more difficult. It does. They did talk about an additional photograph that hadn't been published before that shows the tibia bone of Bruhath Chaosaurus in a plastered jacket. And that's the same tibia as the one in the other photos that showed it in the field. And that helps to show that, yes, this is real. This was not a hoax find. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if that's all you're trying to prove is it wasn't a hoax, then yeah, that's a little easier than proving that it is a unique dinosaur. They also said Bruhath Chaosaurus is probably a sauropod based on the fossils having, quote, exceptionally large dimensions. And that's usually a clue that it's a sauropod, yeah. if it's enormous. <laughs> Blanford was the first to report large dinosaur bones from this formation in 1862. And then in 1929, Matley described some large bones and suggested they were from a titanosaur. Quote, this is from the 2022 study, although he was not able to extract any bones, even with the greatest care, end quote. Again, they're very fragmentary. And fragile. Yes. Yadagiri and Ayasami found more large bones in 1987, and that's what they used to describe Bruhath Chaosaurus. And more sauropod fossils were found in the same area, including a titanosaur egg. There's a lot of marine sediments in the formation, but there are some areas with vertebrate fossils, including dinosaurs. So there is evidence that there were sauropods in the area. That just helps the case with Bruhath Chaosaurus. Back to its tibia, the tibia measurements show that it was gracile and similar to other sauropod tibia. The tibia was about 200 centimeters or about 78 inches long, and that's about 29% larger than the tibia of Argentinosaurus, which, as we know, is a very large dinosaur. Yeah, that is big. 78 inches. What is that? That's like approaching seven feet? It's over six feet, right? Yeah, like six and a half feet. Yeah. That's massive. Now, again, there 
are photos and diagrams of the ilium and tibia, but not of the other fossils found. The ilium was 120 centimeters, or about 47 inches long, and that's about 11 centimeters, or about 4 inches smaller than the ilium of Dreadnoughtus, another large dinosaur. That's a good example of how you have to know which family it's in in order to compare it properly. Mm -hmm. Because if you base it on the tibia and you say it's 29% larger than Argentinosaurus, it's like, holy cow, that's enormous. But then if you go based on that ilium and you say, well, it was a little bit smaller than Dreadnoughtus, all of a sudden it doesn't sound so impressive anymore. Yes. <laughs> the proportions of the ilium and tibia, though, they might mean they weren't from the same individual or even the same species. Hmm. That could be a problem. And drawings of the ilium bone also show a feature that's found in theropod dinosaurs, which is probably why there was that confusion earlier. Now, based on an illustration in the 2022 paper, which that illustration is based on the tibia bone, Bruhathkeosaurus is estimated to be roughly about 100 feet or 30 meters long. And that's a little bit bigger than a blue whale which is amazing. We always talk about blue whales being the largest animals ever. I mean, yes. I like to think of largest by weight rather than length. Oh, I see. Because a long, skinny sauropod tail compared to the massive like diameter of a blue whale torso or body <laughs> like aren't really comparable. So a blue whale definitely weighed more. But yeah, there were definitely sauropods that were longer than blue whales. Mm -hmm. The type species is Bruhathkeosaurus matlii. The genus name means huge-bodied lizard, which seems apt. And it comes from the Sanskrit word Bruhathkea, which means huge body. The species name matlii is in honor of Charles Alfred Matley, a paleontologist who found many fossils in India. And other dinosaurs that lived around the same time and place include abelosaurids, carnosaurs, sauropods, stegosaurs, and troodontids. For those of you who listen to our Dinosaur of the Day segment and you like it, please consider becoming a patron. We take new Dinosaur of the Day requests from our patrons and offer a bunch of other perks as well. So check out our page at patreon.com slash I know dino or click the link on the left. <laughs> 